Hey Martin, so what Steve is referring to is, let's look at this surface right here coming into the fender edge right here and this seam, right? So if you look down on this end right here, you'll see how it meets really, really well right there. But if we look uh, right here, you see how there's a gap? So there's no joining of those surfaces and, and uh, that will create a problem. So let's rebuild this surface right here so that you can make a joined surface and then we'll do some fillet and talk about. So since this edge right here is, is, uh, is well defined already, I'm going to copy and paste that. And then what I'm going to do is delete that surface, right? And then um, also in this corner up here, you have the same issue where these gaps right here those are going to be problems for you. So one thing you can do is after you get your surfaces, you can use the other defined edges to create new surfaces. So on this one right here, I'm going to actually have to move those points over, which slowly I would just do that to all of these and and uh, and define. Uh, define the edges well. So on this one now obviously I would what I would do really here is I would uh, select this and and uh, rotate leave this here and create a rotation and rotate the whole thing so I didn't change it but just for the purposes of this I'm going to uh, just select these two points right here and move them onto there now that changed your curve a bit but there's no gap now and uh, and although the, I did create a little wiggle there if you just rotated it you would have your exact same curve touching there now so now um, with those like that um, I can recreate my patch and then now these two surfaces will join well together and then uh, now I can select that seam right there and, and uh, run a fillet of it. This I chose four, which is kind of, you know, keeps it looking hard, but but still smooth it out. I don't, you know, how big are you going to be able to go? Of course, I would have to continue around there. But um, now I filleted that edge. Now for some of these other ones, like, okay, say up here, you have a hard edge and, um, and you wanted to... Uh, to have it be blended well into the two without any hard edges. So one of the things you can do too is remember after you create your surface and you have a couple of surrounding surfaces that are good, um, right here I could just use the blend tool on that. And uh, you know that makes it tangent come off of there and, uh, and drop down. All, so it's still pretty much almost flat but it makes your connections on both sides uh, tangent. And now um, those will join up. And then if we turn off uh, edges, you can see how it's made that nice smooth edge right there. Of course, uh, you know, um, uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, Steve was talking about um, G2, right? Not just tangent, so. G2, so it, you know, it could make it a. Uh, what's it really going to look like? Is is that going to create uh, some kind of hump be, uh, the way you have your surface defined? Let's see if a 0.75. So. You know, definitely smoothed out those edges there, but you're going to want to get rid of those gaps. Um, same thing though, if you wanted to just run a fillet instead of uh, instead of the blending. But uh, that's the other thing I was going to look at, like in all these areas where you have the junctures and everything, um, uh, without all these interior surfaces that you had defined, uh, that were the ones I was that Michael would be talking about. Um, you know, you can look at uh, at um, just deleting surfaces like this and running the blend between them. You know, that kind of shows you funky there. And then you would just trim that off. Or the other thing you would do is when you have that and you start doing this type of patch modeling, um, 
you could then, uh, after you achieve a blend in a certain area you want, you could remove one of those inner surfaces and then use the new curve as your creation for that to recreate that surface again. And that gives you that blend all the way through. Or um, pretty much the, at this point, the, the main problem uh, with this model that you could fix is um, is are these types of of things right here so like uh, you know fixing that would be uh, you know creating a new surface there that actually touches the two and then having those joined together right and then now look and seeing if if uh, filleting that is going to be uh, going to be better now this one goes from infinity down to something so probably not going to fill it well uh, but so what I uh, yeah so now let's say this was the other part of the model that I wanted to look at uh, in all these areas and so what I was going to show you was say you don't want to run that blend that whole way all you want to do is really have a tiny little blend on these hard edges so after you get a nice well-defined surface like that I can take this curve right here I'm gonna copy and paste it and then I'm gonna uh, move it out a little bit let's go to the front view and then uh, now what I want to do is, let's see, top, is that planar? Planar it. And then, uh, so now from here, I can offset that by the size of uh, the blend that I want to have, right? And then let's delete that. Now I can... Uh, trim that let's see it probably won't trim if it doesn't go all the way right so I have to uh, extend those out yeah. extend past it okay okay so <clears throat> let's get something to trim these surfaces with surfaces I can blend with and there's your blended surface between them and then I would continue on this way using these curves to continue on and create my patching now um, what the what the patch tool that Steve was mentioning and that others are requesting is uh, when you do this kind of patchwork and using blending and trimming and all that you're it, invariably you're going to end up with one place that has this little corner that can't be filled in but since you're not doing since you're just doing a surface too uh, one thing you can do is extend these things off and then just trim it like you could take in other words like you don't that like that piece right there what i could have done was uh just extend that blending surface out this way more right and then uh, 
and then uh, at some point grab uh, these curves here you know that would be grab a curve there in the side view and then just trim the whole thing off and then continue from there anyway um, that's what what I wanted to show you was a uh, this actually fillets if you actually get your joint surfaces and what I wanted to show you in this area was um, using those curves and then creating an actual gap to run the blend tool.